All right, it's official. AI is taking over. Yep, we're screwed. Will Simpson here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going over the next generation swap that Luminar Neo has come out with. If you saw last week's video, we went over Generate, Generace, which is their removal tool, basically their AI removal tool. You select some stuff, say erase, and it removes it from the image. And it was actually pretty good. If you didn't see that video, go ahead and check it out after this video. I'll link it at the end, that way you don't miss it. But I'm kind of curious, I'm very, very curious. What do you think about all this AI stuff? Like we have Generation Fill, Generative Fill in Adobe, and we now have Generace and Gen Swap in Luminar. These things are becoming really, really good, and it's kind of interesting to think where the photo ends and starts and where AI kind of comes and replaces it. It's a very interesting thing to think about. I try not to think about it too much because I'm just having fun creating photos. Well, creating, taking photos, and creating cool images. So that's kind of my standpoint here. I don't really care. I use it when I need it, and I don't when I don't. Let me know what you think in the comments. Anyways, let's get into this one because this is pretty cool. It's a cool feature, and it's got some neat stuff. Here we are in Luminar Neo. Now, when you open it up and you go into catalog and you've downloaded Gen Swap or Gen Erase, these features will be in this area, the catalog, right? So you see Gen Erase, Gen Swap. That's where you find these tools. Now essentially, Gen Swap is you select an area, you put in a prompt, and it using, you have to have a Wi-Fi, using AI puts what you think should be there. Very simple. So a couple of points for Gen Swap. One, it generates at 1536 by 1536 pixels, which is about 500 more than a generative fill from Adobe, which is 1024 by 1024. So that's a really good thing. Uh, the other thing is it suggests that when you make your selection, you make it slightly bigger. Depending on how big of an item you want to generate, you want to, gener you want to select that relative size based on that item. If you generate a smaller size, it will generate a smaller image. We'll get into some examples of that in a second. So here we are in Luminar, and we're gonna go ahead and click Gen Swap. You're very familiar with the uh, downed plane in Iceland, but you know what? I wanna create something a little bit more unique, and I wanna put a reflection here. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, down here, you'll notice you have the, your options. This is uh, your before and after, your zoom, select. So I make a select and deselect. I can deselect what I want, right? Let's undo that. Good, this is the size of your brush, and this is to reset the selection or swap. So what I wanna do, we're gonna select select, and we're just going to make this whole selection here. Now this is the first time I have used Gen Swap all together, so this is a new adventure for both of us. Huzzah! All right, so make this selection, good. Once you've made your selection, you get a little prompt here. Now it does say that you don't necessarily need to use verbs, it gives a couple of like, tips that you can or cannot use, whatever you want. So for, for this one, we want um, a clear lake with reflection of, typing words, clear lake with reflection of plane and man on top. Okay, good, and you press swap or enter. Now it does give you 250 characters to generate this entire, uh, to put in the prompt. Will you ever use 250 characters? Probably not. But um, this is going to take as long as it takes. I think it takes, well, it takes as long as it takes. So this is real time here. So really quick, while this is generating, hit the like button and subscribe. You probably already subscribed, but if you're not, subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you hit that bell because that bell is really, really important for me because it'll let you know when a video comes up and that's awesome <laughs> for you, not me, for both of us. It's great for both of us, okay. Uh, so let's see here. We should be close to being done. And, uh oh, loading wheel, rut row. We might have froze. This is not a good thing to happen when you're doing a video on YouTube. <laughs> okay, so the gen swap failed and it stopped my screen recording. So. Hold, please. Let's try this again. 
we're gonna go into our gen swap photo. We're gonna go to gen swap. We're gonna do our same exact thing, make this a little bit bigger. We're going to select our area here. Beautiful, then we're gonna type clear lake with reflection of plane and sky standing on it. Round two. Fight. It's not a good sign. I might have overloaded it with the prompt. Plus my internet connection is not the greatest in my studio, so that could be a problem. All right, I'm gonna speed this one up until the end. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so good. Obviously not great. I don't know what this is here, but if that wasn't there, honestly, it would have been relatively good. So let's do this. Let's get rid of this, the reflection of plane. Let's delete that and let's re... <laughs> let's just redo that all together because I think I over prompted. Ooh, man, that was... <laughs> that was bad. It's just the random dude. <laughs> good stuff. All right. I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to do a generative fill compared to gen swap video soon. Uh, if you want to see that, let me know below and I'll, I'll get that done because I think that would be kind of funny to do. Uh, here's our replacement. It's okay. Honestly, I'm asking a lot. I got to say, I'm really asking a lot right here, but that's okay. I mean, it's not terrible. Let's go on to the next one. I'm not even going to bother with this. All right, here's the next one. Now, let's see. What do we want to do here? How about we add like a little, uh, let's add like a deer. Let's do gin swap. Let's go right here and add um, deer. Let's just add a deer. How about that? Let's just see what that happens. We can add an animal. Could have done big tiger. See the tips at the bottom? It says use nouns and prompts describing exactly what you want to see. For example, blue sea, big tire, and avoid using verbs. Feel free to mask a slightly larger area than you need. If you miss a part of an object, the result of gen swap might not be what you're looking for. So there's a couple of pointers that it puts at the bottom. Okay. Um, let's zoom in here. Because I'm not sure how my... <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, that's, it's not, it's not good. Okay, um, well, I gotta say the results are not too promising yet. Um, okay, let's, let's do it again. Ah. I, L Luminar products have been really, really good, honestly. This is the first time that I'm actually like not super impressed with the results. It's a new, it just came out, it's new. Um, and I might be giving, uh, I don't know. I, it's hard to make excuses right now because that was a two headed deer. <laughs> oh, that was funny. All right, here we go. This looks more promising. Hey, okay, that looks better. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Uh, let's go down here to our deer. Okay, uh, we are zoomed in too much. Oh, the face looks messed up. Uh, but at least it's not two-headed deer from both sides. It's, it's better. Oh, man. Okay, good. Well, let's... Um... <sighs> All right, good. I love this two-headed deer. I'm going to save this one because that's hilarious. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh man, good times. Let's go to the next image here. Let's go to gen photos. Let's go to this one. All right, so for this one, let's add, let's add some birds, shall we? And I'm gonna do like some dots here, right? Good. Good, make some multiple selections. Birds, swap. All right, this is an interesting video. This is, uh, honestly, this is my first time using this, like I said in the beginning, so I wasn't sure where, how this was gonna go, and this is how it's going. <laughs> Hilarious.
Oh, it's too funny. Okay, where's our birds? We have no birds. Um, okay, it doesn't say do verbs, but add birds. Okay, let's try this again. Didn't create nothing. Oh, okay, I don't know what's happening with my birds. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna just create one selection here and we're going to say add birds again. We're gonna try this again because that's twice now that it has done nothing. Uh, okay, so overall, I've done m some tests. I've, I've put it through actual what I would use it for tests and it hasn't done great. Uh, definitely will be more in the development, but this is actually like a true life test. So I honestly, I, I'm not sure what to say. Okay, well, it clearly doesn't want us to add birds, so we're not even gonna bother with that now. So that is the video. Um, you saw the test, honestly, it didn't do super well, and maybe I was a little hard on it. I, I don't know, what, what else can we add here? Um, how about this, how about let's, let's try something. Just do this here. I had this selection up here for the birds that I forgot to clear. Bench facing away. Good, let's try this. So overall, um, we're just gonna wrap up this video here while this goes, but hit the like button, subscribe, let me know your comments, see, I mean, the theory behind it is good, but I still think it's in development. It definitely is out, and if you wanna get it, I'll put a link in the description for you. Um, if you have Luminar Neo and you have it, it is workable. My, my thought process with things like this, even if, with Adobe, is if you wanna do something, that you're not sure if it works, give this a try because you might be surprised. Generative Fill from Adobe has blew my mind several times and the Gen Swap with uh, Luminar Neo has actually blown my mind several times as well. This one here, it will be developed more and more and it will get better and better. Okay, so here's our bench. Um, it's not great. Uh, it doesn't look very real. The light is on the wrong side. It's not really facing away. It, Honestly, it looks like a combined bench. I, I really don't know. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'm gonna keep practicing and, and testing it, but this is kind of like my first use of it. What do you think? Um, that's it. So, I don't, honestly, I'm at a loss right now. <laughs> I've never been speechless. Uh, so YouTube recommends you go watch this video next. Uh, I recommend you go check out the Gen Swap video, if you or the Gen Erase video if you haven't seen it right here. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. I'll see you guys next week.